Okay, so guys, today we're gonna be doing another nail challenge video. We're gonna see how fast I can do a whole entire set using McCart's Nail Pump Up X. And this one is making me a little nervous because I never time myself doing things. I take as long as I feel like I need to. So timing myself is giving me a little anxiety, but I accept the challenge. Let me give myself a time. Let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. I should do this under 10 minutes. So the nail pump up x looks like a play on gel x nails i will have everything that i'm getting ready to show you guys in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out if you want to and you use my code to get a little money off of your purchase but first let's go ahead and do our notification shout outs these are the first three people who commented on my last video so thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on and if you would like a shout out all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and have your post notifications turned on. That way you can be one of the first three people to comment. Okay, so first of course we have our cover tips. Now you have the choice between a stiletto, ballerina, and a square shape. And in each you get 12 different sizes to be sure that you can find your perfect size. If you can tell already, you already know my favorite shape is square. So that's probably what I'm going to do in this video, but I don't know. I might go stiletto because i rarely do stiletto so we'll see and they all come in like the perfect manageable length i feel like 10 out of 10 for me with these tips i will be using these quite often to apply the tips we have this prep in one the nail glue so this is going to be the gel that we're going to use to adhere the tip to our natural nails so we have the choice of this one or one of the nail plumpers that's what they're calling them and these are different shades of nude so we have a flattery, sandstorm, and pillow talk. And then lastly, we have all of our disco liner gel. So all of these are reflective gels, of course, and they're liner gels. So you get the best of all worlds. So we're gonna be using a little bit of everything in this nail set. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and let's see how fast I can do this. Okay, so we got a little setup going here. Down here is gonna be really, really dark because I only have one little light right here. So just excuse that little minor detail, but you guys should still be able to see. So what you're gonna need is of course your pump up tips and as you can see, we're doing stiletto. I just decided I wanted to switch it up a little bit. Square is my comfort zone, so we're gonna shake it up a little bit and get out of the comfort zone. So I already kind of set out and sized up my little nail tips, so I have them all kind of laid out instead of sides. So we're not wasting our time trying to find the correct size. Then you're gonna need your gel of choice to adhere the cover tip with. I do not know what nail design I wanna go for quite yet. So I do not want to do the nude. We're just gonna stick with the basic. So we're gonna stick with the clear. Okay, so we're only gonna do one hand obviously. Y'all know how I do all the time. So for however long I take to do one hand, I'm just gonna double it and then what Whatever number I come up with, that's how long it will probably take me to do a full set. All right, so first and foremost, we have to lightly remove the shine from our natural nail. So I'm gonna go ever so lightly because my nail beds are extremely sensitive right now because I did like, I wanna say I did three sets kind of back to back. So I need to slow down, right? And there we have it. Okay, so up next, we're gonna apply the tips. So I have a little UV nail lamp over here on the side. So this one is the thumb. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to rush, I don't know why, cause I don't have to. Let me just slow down. So I just kind of dab some up here at the top and you don't need too much but you don't wanna put too little, you wanna put like just enough and I feel like that's a pretty, pretty good amount. I'm gonna turn on the UV and start up here at the cuticle and press down. And then go ahead and cure. I like to cure a little bit, then turn it around, make sure it's nice and straight and then go ahead and 
finish it off. And that should be good right there. And look at that, we already did one now. Oh, and also if you want to, you can put some dehydrator and primer on your nose. But honestly, I forgot all about that. And I don't know where mine is. <laughs> but I just want to put out there, that's definitely something that you can do. Especially if you want to make sure your nails are lasting as long as possible. Okay, let's turn that on. And cure. I did not push back my cuticles. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder what my time is looking like. Because we're halfway through. And just like that, our application process is done. Let me stop the timer. Okay, so I said 10 minutes, right? We stopped at nine minutes and 43 seconds. Which means if I was to do both of my hands, we'll be right around like 18 minutes, 20 minutes. Not bad for a full set. Hmm, now I gotta figure out. <laughs> Well, nail design I don't want to do. So I was just so nervous and so ready like to beat the clock that I did not shape. So um, we're going to just buff out our nails. I'm using a buffer from McCart, of course. And honestly, I want to say that these really don't need to be fouled that much. So I'm just going to go in just a little bit. And we're just going to, you know kind of taper it in just a little bit more. It really does not need to be fouled that much though. So first off, we're gonna start off with our base color and I'm gonna use this Bella Nude by McCart. And I'm gonna do two coats of this one. So now our base color for our French is gonna be white. So I'm gonna take this white liner gel, also by McCart. So at this point, I know what I wanna do. So I already know I'm gonna use the reflective liners that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. So I think I wanna do a designer decal over the reflective liners and see how that looks. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> So now I'm just going to take some acetone just to straighten out the smile line so it could be nice and neat. And then I'm going to put the reflective gel liner on top of the white. And there we go. So now I'm gonna take this platinum member color. Like I said before, we're gonna put this over the white. Now I only did this in one coat, but you can definitely do two coats. I kind of went over it lightly at first and then I came back with a bigger like glob of polish just to fill everything out. And that way you really don't see much of white underneath. You just see the reflective glitter on top. And this is how it reflects with the flash on. It looks really, really good. It looks like diamonds in the light. So like I mentioned before, we're gonna use like some designer decals and I'm just gonna use some foils that I had sitting around for a while now. And I've never used this Dior one. And since it's black, I wanna take a play on black because I think I'm gonna outline the French in black. So I'm gonna use some foil glue and I got the foil glue that I'm using from McCart and put one thin layer of foil glue. I'm gonna put it only on the French and I'm going to cure it for 90 seconds. 
from my personal experience, it seems like the longer you cure it, the easier the foil will transfer. So as you can see, I'm going to like gently place it on there and then really get to rubbing it down. And for this foil, this foil transfers very easily, thank God. So um, after I place it, I really just rub it until the foil itself starts to come up on its own. And that's how I know the design is fully transferred once that foil starts to separate from off the nail. So that's kind of what I do. I really just rub, rub, rub until that foil comes up on its own. And that really transferred really, really well. I really don't see any spots or anything on the pointer finger that was missing. But um, I'm just going to outline the French, like I said before, with some black liner gel. This liner is from McCart as well. Everything I'm using in this video is by McCart. So you can find it on their site. Um, I think besides the foils, they don't have um, these particular foils on their site, but they do have their own foils on their site if you want to go check them out. Um, I will have the link in the description down below. But that's really the whole set. All I'm going to do is finish, you know, the finishing touches, take some acetone to really make those lines as crisp and clean as possible. And then we're going to put some top coat on top. And that's really it. And this is the finished look. I really love the way this turned out. I've added a Swarovski crystal off camera really, really quick. I usually do not go for stiletto. It's not my favorite shape on my fingers, but I really loved the way these turned out. And the whole application process was super duper easy. Y'all saw how quick that was. <laughs> so if you've been thinking about doing your own nails at home or if you're already doing your own nails at home and you really wanna get into like the gel X type nails, definitely get this kit. And I think they have it to where you can customize your own kit on their site so definitely check out their site i will leave the link in the description down below and if you watched this far thank you so much i'm sorry this video was a little late guys i was kind of running behind schedule with editing and everything but next week's video should be on time if not i will let you guys know here on youtube and on my instagram but um yeah i will see you guys in my very next video